Hey everybody. Are you gonna sit with me for the next while and find out why you're bloating and cramping and your stomach never feels right? Uh, it's such a big topic. I'm writing a whole book on it. I've already written a, a book on it called, um, if you recall, a lot of you read it, Toxic. This, this will teach you a lot about what's going on with your GI tract. I'm fascinated by the GI tract. I'm gonna wait for a few more of you to come on before I start talking about the GI tract, which actually turns me on. But I see it all the time. I, when I'm out, I see women, and I've had the same experience. I'm still, uh, uh, you know, in a war with my own stomach, and I'll tell you the story of where I think mine began. You might relate, you might not. But um, I'm, because of my own GI tract, and because of my stomach, which by the way, you know where your stomach is? Everybody thinks it's here, right? Right, right, right here? No, your stomach is up here. Do you know that? Right, this is your stomach. And then all these are the intestines. And then over here is your liver. You know how I know? My little girlfriend here. Can you see her back there? Pardon me, huh? I take this apart. I take her apart at least twice a day. <laughs> I take her, her boobs off right here. Then I take the lungs out. All right, here are the lungs. Then I get to where I want to go. So here, here's the liver, and that would be right here, right? Okay. Here's the stomach. That's your stomach. That's how big your stomach is. So when you're all bloated, something's really wrong because it's supposed to be nice and small and tight like that. And then here's the uh, whole intestinal tract. This is what everybody thinks is their stomach, right? But that's all right here. That's where you're all bloated, isn't it? You bloat up here, that upper upper thing, and then there's like, what's wrong with my stomach? You're always holding this. It's really, what's wrong with your intestines? Stuff gets stuck in there. And look at, look at, it's so interesting. Do you know when you stretch this out, um, it's the, um, the whole GI tract is the length of a tennis court. Isn't that fascinating? Imagine, tennis court. Do you know what the immune system is? The immune system, because everybody goes, yeah, immune system, but do you actually know where it is in your body? I'll tell you. On this long thing, if you stretched out like a tennis court, wrapped all the way around it is this mu mucus. It's, it's the, one of the most important things in your body. This mucus is your immune system. It's got antibacterial, antifungal, uh, anti-cancer, our, our, that mucus actually makes interferon, which is anti-cancer, pretty good. Thing. The trouble is, you've got bloated intestines and a bloated stomach. Uh, things aren't working right, and your immune system is compromised. So it makes you uh, uh, open for disease and infection. So it's really, really important to get this part of your body working right, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And so how does that affect your immune system? When toxins, mold, fungus, um, processed food, high fructose corn syrup, uh, processed sugars and things, when, when those enter your GI tract, along with the chemicals in the air, and the chemicals that you put on your skin with chemical kind of care, it all ends up going down into the GI tract. Once it gets in the GI tract, it starts eating little holes through this barrier wall, which is where all that mucus is for immune system. It eats little holes, and then the toxins that are in your gut, from all the things I just mentioned, leak out. Anybody told you of leaky gut? Leak out. Now you've got leaky gut. Now, now those toxins are on a mission. They want to make their way up to your brain because the brain is the fattiest organ in the body. And more toxins that get up in the brain, the more the brain, the hypothalamus, shrinks. And that's where your ADD and ADHD and your the initials, the dyslexia and dyspraxia and uh, autism, all those things are coming from the brain shrinking and uh, inability to focus in the way that we should. The gut-brain connection is what everybody's talking about. And so how do you fix this? How do you fix this? 
it's dietary. You gotta you gotta understand gluten. And people like to make fun of gluten, but we used to have 80 different strains of wheat. We have engineered our wheat in America down to five strains. So the gluten content in our wheat is off the charts, just off the charts. And so if you have a gluten sensitivity, and most people do because we're never supposed to have grains with that high intensity of, of gluten, and also um, most of it is genetically engineered, which is, I could talk for an hour about that, and you want to avoid that because that creates a little insecticide factory in here. You're eating a lot of genetically modified food. It's all a little insecticide factory in here. Wonder why this is all bloated. Wonder why you can't hold your intestines in. Or wonder why your stomach is so bloated. Here, we're, we're getting there with these answers. You have to understand the pathway before we can fix it. But there's hope. There's a solution. I'm going to have it for you today. So uh, how do you clean out your brain? That, that's that's not an easy thing, and there's no drug answer to cleaning out your brain. What you have to do first is clean up these two areas. You've got to clean up your intestines and clean up your stomach. And um, it takes patience, and it takes perseverance. So if you think you have a gluten intolerance, go look in the mirror. Are you fat-faced? You puffy here? When I watch television, I uh, <laughs> I sit there with Alan, and I go, Oh, that person's got a gluten problem. So you can tell right away it's the, it's the puffy face. Even on a, a thin body, the, the face gets puffy. Um, if you have rosacea, like a little red under uh, uh, on your cheeks, I do. And that I, I, when I wake up and I've got red, red cheeks, I know it's, um, it's something I ate, something's going on with my gut because rosacea starts from the gut. You know, you go to a dermatologist and they give you topicals, and it's nice that it helps a little, but you got to clean up this. you got to clean this up. So um, how do you do that? Are we ready? There are two su super important things that you can do. A, get rid of the dog. <laughs> Busted. I'm going together. <laughs> get, get rid of your little dog, my grand dog. <laughs> the other thing is really, really, a, you can get a blood test, and the blood tests that you would want to know about are in this book, Toxic. You can order this on my website. There's so much information. It's not me. I'm not a doctor. I interview doctors. That's what I do. I used to do comedy. <laughs> now I interview doctors. But um, they're so forthcoming with me. There's the dog. We'll have a, a dog off soon, and my cats come up and like to walk on the keys. So if I lose you for a minute, it's because Betty or Gloria took a little, a little um, jaunt on my keys. Okay, so you got to really think about the food you eat. It's more important than ever. We're, I'll say it again. I say it all the time. We're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity. No, we have never, as humans, in the history that we understand, have undergone anything like this. And everybody, everybody, the reason you tuned in today is you've got some issues. I know. That's why you go, oh, I want to know about the gut. Yeah, I want to know why I'm bloated. When I do a lecture, uh, it doesn't matter if I have 500 or 5,000 women, I always say, how many in this room are bloated right now? And there's always this giggling, and then pretty much every hand goes up. And... Um, it's funny for the moment because we women all understand bloating and we all understand, which I really love to wear that dress tonight, but it makes me look fat. Even if I'm working out, I, I, I've been going through this because um, I got mold in my GI tract and that's another whole thing we can talk about. But what really, I think in this next going forward in um, alternative medicine, and it should be um, in all medicines, is that probiotics will be as important a discovery as antibiotics. So how many of you out there have had an antibiotic? Most of you, right? How many of you have had a lot of antibiotics? A lot of you. Okay, that's where your problem has begun. Think about antibiotic. Anti. What does anti mean? Anti takes away. Think about probiotic. Pro puts back. So what are you supposed to have? You're supposed to have 85% good bacteria or flora in your GI tract and 15% bad. 
But in most cases, for most of us, it's the complete opposite. You got 85% bad, 15% good. The poor little good guys are trying their hardest. You take a probiotic, but it's not the right kind of probiotic. It doesn't have the right strains in it. Because a probiotic is, is not just one single ingredient. It's several different ingredients. And um, each one does something different. Like I was reading in my book, Toxic, um, the lactobacillus guards the small intestine, okay? The bifidobacterium um, takes care of the large intestine. That's sort of gruesome looking here, but anyway, here's your, here's your large intestine here. And um, then um, lactobacillus vulgarius is found in yogurt and transient bacteria. But the problem with yogurt, the problem with yogurt is by the time you buy it, whatever probiotic was in there is probably dead. Think about delivering uh, yogurt to a grocery store. You see those pallets out in the, um, uh, the, the parking lot. And I live here in the desert, so I see it all the time. I see these pallets sitting out there and I go, that chance anything's gonna live in that kind of heat. So by the time you get the, pro the, the uh, um, yogurt home, it probably tastes good still, but the good stuff is out of there. So do not depend on yogurt for your probiotic needs. This, Caroline, is showing you the advanced probiotic intestinal renew. Okay. This is something that we had developed for our company, and it's pretty remarkable. It's um, got this, it's two-pronged, because a lot of times you take a, a probiotic, and it gets stopped in the stomach by all the stomach acid that's in there, okay? And it just eats through it, and you're not getting any benefit. But take a look at this capsule. encapsulation here. Yeah, look at that. It's set up this way so that it goes through the stomach but maintains it intact to get into where you really want it, to get it into the intestines and the GI tract. And so it really works. And what is in ours um, covers all the bases. We've got lactobacillus, which I just said, takes care of the small intestine. The bifidobacterium, which takes care of your large intestine, has got L- Pariscal and um, B. Bifidum lactis. And there's just a lot of stuff in here. I, my pronunciation isn't great. And also you have those really important bacteriophage. Yes. Which are like the warriors that kill the bad bacteria. And then Suzanne put all the good bacteria in there. So it's, it's twofold. It kills the bad bacteria and it repopulates with the good bacteria. Right. I take one every morning and one every night. Let me tell you my sad story. <laughs> hey, Suzanne, one second. Before you start your sad story, uh -huh. so people are asking. This is available today, you guys, at SuzanneSummers.com. And we're having a special. It's three for one. So you buy one bottle, and you get two bottles free. Um, and this is a 30. There are 30 capsules. Um, the dosage is one a day. And this is a 15 billion um, probiotic. And again, it's got... It's got, it works in two ways. It kills the bad bacteria, it repopulates with the good bacteria, and Suzanne has that brand new technology with the dual encapsulation to make sure that all those live probiotics actually make it to the intestine. Because if they get killed by the stomach acid and they don't get to the intestine, it's not gonna do the job that you need it to do. Suzanne always says if you take one product, take the probiotic. So we have a really strong special today. Um, these products are coming up on the expiration date in July. So you're actually, when you order today, you're gonna to get a three month supply so that you can take these before, you know, it's, it's best by um, July. So they do lose, they start to slowly lose potency after that. Um, but this is an amazing deal, three for one. And that's why Suzanne wanted to do this great talk today on gut health. Tell them how much this normally would cost and what their savings is. Um, well, you get three instead of one, so it's forty-four dollars for a bottle. So you get three for the price of so that's, that's pretty great. One hundred twenty-nine dollars for a three-month supply, and all you're going to pay is the forty-four dollars, forty-four ninety. Here's the way I feel about probiotics. 
I think probiotics is something that we all need to take for the rest of our lives. I think it's that important. Um, my sad story is, what, if you read my book, Knockout, you know when I was in the hospital and I was poisoned and all that. But while I was in the hospital for six days, I was on an IV antibiotic for an infection I did not have. But I didn't know. I was so sick. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. My stomach has never been the same since those six days. At the time, because this was nine years ago, at the time when I had six days of IV antibiotics, I didn't understand about probiotics, or I would have been flooding myself. And why in a hospital wouldn't they know, we're going to flood your veins with antibiotics, can we flood the other veins with probiotics, can we just keep filling you up? That is where I get a little upset with Western medicine, they're so far behind. It's, it's like after a, a woman gives birth cesarean, that baby should be given probiotics immediately because that baby misses that all-important first step of life of swallowing the mother's vaginal flora. That's the first breath we take, our mother's vaginal flora. So what I say for all of us non-doctors is we have to educate ourselves and be proactive about our own health and don't wait for some doctor to save you. You've got to do the research and know what's going on and know how your body works. I'll tell you, I, people laughed at me when I got my, you know, my university body model. I tell you, I've learned so much about how the body works by taking this body apart. I'm fascinated by it. You know, I never knew where the gallbladder was. I never knew where the kidneys were. And once you see it, then it all starts making sense where you have little pains and things. Then you can pinpoint it yourself. The more informed you are when you go to the doctor, the more you can say, I agree or I don't agree, doctor, or why would you tell me that? It's time to put them on their toes. And what, the reason I love alternative doctors is that they get it. They get the limitations of Western medicine. So that's are my you, Are you surprised, Suzanne, that in this day and age that doctors don't tell you when you take an antibiotic that you should take a probiotic? Does that surprise you when you hear that? It, it shocks me. At the same time, what I have found, with all due respect, uh, doctors are down on what they're not up on. Does that make sense? So they don't want to come off stupid because we've treated them like gods. And it's time to rethink. I think it's important to think of your doctor that you are the contractor and your doctor or doctors are the subcontractors. Now, if you were remodeling your house as, as the uh, person in charge, you'd be checking on every single subcontractor all the time. You'd be um, checking up to make sure they're right. That's what you have to do now. Is so I have a couple of questions for you because okay, because you're if, if 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 they need to be their own contractor, you're the one that everyone wants to hire. <laughs> so um, here's, here's the, the can you take the antibiotic and the probiotic at the same time. Yeah, yeah. In and fact, I, I, that's when you should load up, right? Is when you're on the antibiotic. Absolutely. In fact, uh, there's been a terrible flu going on. In this country, I don't know how many of you had it that we get the bronchitis. Caroline heard me on the phone. I mean, I I thought I had pneumonia. I went and had a chest uh, 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 scan, and I didn't have pneumonia. But my doctor said to me, you have to take an antibiotic. And I almost cried taking the antibiotic because I worked so hard to get my stomach right. Every antibiotic I took, I also at the same time took this probiotic. You know what? I don't have any uh, adverse effects from, I got rid of the uh, bronchitis, uh, it didn't turn into pneumonia, and I don't have any of the bloating that I normally would have and that that, that awful logy feeling that an antibiotic uh, gives you. So you want the ratio again to be 85% good? If you take the antibiotic, it's, it's wiping out whatever bacteria you need to get rid of, but what else is it wiping out? Like what, what, what's happening in the gut when you take that antibiotic? It's wiping out all the good stuff. It's like a little, like, like the, um, you know, ISIS came to your uh, GI tract. It's just going to wipe out everything. So it takes out the bad guys and takes out the good guys. Yeah. So now you're just left with bloating, cramping, constipation, diarrhea, headaches, inability to sleep, uh, hair's not looking so good, nails aren't looking so good, which, oh, by the way, if you want great hair, skin, and nails, uh, we have a supplement that's not on sale today called Hair, Skin, and Nails. I can't stop my yeah, hair from growing. We're, we're, so. we're almost what? out of that. Okay, right. But I'll <laughs> get, in, get in there, put your put your order in. I can't believe what's happened to my hair. Anyway, um, 
I, I really do feel that doctors will eventually catch on. I hope, I hope in medical schools they'll start teaching this, but they are so geared towards um, allopathic, meaning here's the symptom, here's the drug for that, because they're funded by that. Uh, so you have to take that into account and understand probiotics are the greatest thing that has happened to us, but not all probiotics are created equal. And clearly, the one that I was taking wasn't doing it because I was still experiencing this bloating. It's terrible. Yeah. Can you see how this is suspended here? There's a capsule inside a capsule. So that green capsule has all the live probiotics, and that's what Susanna's loaded this up with. The, the warriors to take out the bad guys in your gut and then repopulating with the good bacteria. And it's in this dual encapsulation here, so it keeps them safe until they get to the intestine. And that's why her probiotic is, it, you know, it's, it's one of our more expensive products because this is really serious technology here, but it actually works. You know, there are a lot of different probiotics on the market. Um, and this, this, pill, this, this capsule will go into the stomach. Here's your stomach. The, the uh, digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid won't eat it up because of the weight of the technology so that it has the opportunity to get into your um, small intestines and then go to work. That's what you want to happen. It's and that's where, you, that's where the bloating actually comes from? Where we're yeah. 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 But um, if, if your stomach is all out, uh, stomach and the whole GI tract's out of balance, you're going to be bloated. And if you bloat it up here, that's a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth that's like right below where the uh, esophagus here. Then the stomach bloats up over here. Then the liver, you get fatty liver. And then your intestines are all bloated. When I see someone with a big stomach, I realize, wow, you got, you got a war going on there that you can win. That's what I'm talking about. Um, the advanced uh, probiotic is... Uh, really something that we're really proud of here at our company because it's cutting edge. Yeah, we have a couple, um, a couple of questions here. This product, um, people are asking if it needs to be refrigerated. Normally probiotics do, but this one does not. And I would imagine that's because of the dual encapsulation. Right. Um, someone but else is asking also, about my nail polish. This right. is Suzanne 10 Toxic Free Nail Polish in the color Suede. So pretty. And she was just telling you about that hair skin nail product. I have typically horrible nails. I've gone back to natural nails, no gel, because they're growing and strong. So that's great. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I've got the um, the um, naked nail polish. Naked. Peace of mind not having those 10 bad things. Yeah, hey. and this is also, um, you guys jump in today, SuzanneSummers.com is the website for those of you asking. And you get three bottles for the price of one. This is a massive blowout sale because we're coming up against the expiration date on these. They don't expire. They just slowly lose their potency um, after July. Um, we actually just got these in our warehouse. They were held up. And so it's, it's a benefit to you because today you get three bottles, which is like $129 value for only $44.95 today. So jump into SuzanneSummers.com. If you're looking for that solution, this is the one, you know how sometimes at night you just can't deal with taking your supplements? Right. I, I, I don't go to bed without this one. Like this is, I don't wait. I can it. It, like during the day, if I'm ever going to skip, I won't skip my thyroid and I won't skip my probiotic because you've just pounded into me the importance of this. Absolutely. Um, uh, and if you get this incredible deal today, free for the price of one, it will take you through July. It'll allow you the luxury of being able to take one in the morning and one at night. Because if you're bloated and if you got the big stomach and you're the upper the, the, the stomach area is bloated, the intestinal area is bloated, you're constipated, you've got gas, that gas is just awful, isn't it? Um, you'll want to take two a day and here's a way to afford it. This is well, so awesome. like when you're you know, when you're eating well and you're still bloated, that's so frustrating. So frustrating. Oh, I think about cool. sugar. I gave up sugar and I gave up grain and I was still bloating. Here's, here's another thing that you might um, relate to. When our house burned down, we moved into that beautiful house up on the hill and I didn't know there was mold in the downstairs floor in an unfinished room. Stachy Botrys, the worst kind of mold. The mold got into the base of Alan's uh, brain, the, uh, running uh, the central nervous system running parallel with the cerebellum. 
And the mold for me got in my intestines. And that's before I understood all this. Every time something happens to me, it's actually a good thing because then I just research until I can figure out how to fix my problem. Because you go to doctors and all they want to do is give you Band-Aid pills. And Band-Aid pills just prolong the agony. And also, think about taking um, drugs of any kind. Really think about beforehand because they're foreign molecules and you don't want to confuse the body. And the body's already so confused from all the toxins. This liver here, your liver is groaning. Poor liver. It's, it's our detox organ. It's groaning. It's going... It's like, you know, somebody's throwing balls at it all the time. It's going, wait, 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 I can't handle anymore. So um, you want to, you want to um, um, where was I going? I, I found my liver and I was just in the middle of saying something. This is called postmenopausal. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. well, while, you're, while you're catching your, your moment, I have a couple questions for your friends here. There's no discount codes, guys. You can just jump in at SuzanneSummers.com. When you order one bottle of the Advanced Probiotic Renew, you'll automatically get three. So one bottle for $44.95, normal price would be $129. And for those of you asking about the efficacy after July, you know, it's not like it, it doesn't just die in July. It, for, you know, the optimal timing to take it would be before July, and then it slowly loses efficacy after that. So, I mean, I know I will be continuing to take it. That's me. Um, because I know it's still going to have most of the potency in there for a while, but we won't be selling it after July, obviously. So today's the day to just stock up and get the good deal. Right. Well, and uh, expiration dates are uh, for consumer confidence. You know, if you if it was expired two years ago, well, but in July, you're going to be taking these every day, and on top of it, you're going to get this great, great, great buy. So... Um, we want to protect our livers. We want to keep our stomachs nice and small like this. Imagine how bloated this stomach is for you to not be able to hold your stomach in and to be all pained right below your um, breast here. It's, it's an awful feeling. So the mold in my house, that's where I lost my train of thought because I went and grabbed my liver. The mold in my house got into my stomach. I couldn't figure out what was wrong and this is when I made the sugar connection because I like my sugar and I like cake and I really like ice cream. When I would have something as simple as a date, I'd wake up with a flat stomach, I'd have a date, and by the end of the day, I'd look like I was giving birth to a basketball and it was painful. And then, as I write about in Toxic, each mold organism um, reproduces 52 million times in a 24-hour period, and I had a stomach full of mold, and you might have a stomach full of fungus, or you might have a stomach full of H. pylori from non-organic chicken, or all the different um, bacteria that crave sugar for reproduction. So when I was eating a date, I was not only uh, prolonging the, the one mold organism that could uh, reproduce 52 million times, I had an entire intestine full of mold organisms and that's why I'd have this basketball. So if you're walking around, you've got that hard stomach where you press in and it feels crampy and it hurts and it's hard and you just, even if you do sit-ups every day, you still can't hold your stomach in. Um, we have answers today that I think are just going to be life-changing for you. I would not, I would not have a day without my probiotic, if I, there was an earthquake here this morning, if I, and I was thinking as the house shook, I thought, what do I grab? This is, I would grab my, my uh, probiotic, my digestive enzymes, and my hormones. That, that, those are my priorities because it's that important. You've also talked a lot with stomach issues about digestive enzymes, which I knew very little about before you told me about those. Um, and... We also have those on special today. And again, you get the same uh, three bottles for the price of one. These are not coming up on the expiration date. Suzanne just wanted to talk to you about gut health today. And uh, I know how important that digestive renew is for gut health. So do you want to tell them a little bit about yeah. digestive enzymes? Now, first of all, you, you take your probiotic when you wake up in the morning when you go to bed at night. You take your digestive enzymes with your meals near the end of the meal for uh, to replicate nature as much as possible. 
We make digestive enzymes when we're young, but around 30, uh, and depending on your stress and de uh, depending on your um, uh, level of toxicity, like what is your toxic burden? Everybody's got a different load they're carrying around, uh, but we all got something to one degree or another. So that would blunt uh, enzyme production. Enzymes are like little Pac-Men. They eat up debris, they eat up the bad guys, and when you and they help you to digest your food. You can be eating the most incredible food, uh, organic everything, but if you don't have digestive enzymes, you're not going to get the maximum benefit from your food. It will help you also with cramps, gas, and bloating. It will help you to digest your food so that it moves through this complicated web of uh, intestines that we have. Remember, it's as long as a tennis court. Look at that. It's got to go through this whole thing. First, it's got to go down, and then it's got to go up and around, and then down, and all it gets down here. Sometimes when you press your intestines, you can feel pain in different areas. That's because there's uh, food stuck there. And why is it stuck there? Because it didn't digest properly. Why didn't it digest? Because you're no longer making sufficient or any digestive enzymes. So the new aging is not to let just your body fall apart. The new aging is to pay attention to these pains and aches and bloating and constipation. That's a language. Just like I always talk about hormones have a language. Your GI tract has a language and it's telling you what's going on and you want to uh, fix the issue before you reach a catastrophic state. Do you understand what I mean? Everybody waits till they're they're in the hospital or they're, they're in crisis. I am into prevention. Let's fix it now. But along the way, uh, even forget about prevention because um, that's a tough sell. How about a flat stomach? How about a flat, flat intestines? How about a liver that's working right so that you can detox all the, the, the toxins that come at you? I always talk about toxicity. You know, what is it? for you with the, what you clean your house with, what you put on your skin, what you wash your hair with, what you uh, wash your dishes with, what you wash your clothes with, um, the air in your, in, your, in your house, the drugs you take, the over-the-counter drugs you take. At what point do you reach your tipping point where your liver goes, I give, I'm trying to clean your, you up as best I can. You're asking too much of me, I give. So your digestive enzymes and your advanced probiotic here are going to help your liver, are going to help your intestines, and are going to help your stomach operate and return to normalcy. Wouldn't that be a blessed thing? There's a dress. Interesting. That I, yeah. You were um, talking about, when you were first talking to me about digestive enzymes, you were saying that a lot of people take antacids. When oh yeah, an upset stomach because they're thinking that's going to help move through. Is that not the conventional thinking? It's not working for people. Why is that? That's that band aid. You can take those candy tablets all the time. That's that band aid. It's not going to fix it. it. Just takes the pain away for a little bit. Those of you who've got that reflux and and that pain, how about the pain that's right here, right here? And if you had um, radiation, radiation burns the gastric sphincter. You know, we have another sphincter, and it's right here. It's a little, this is what lets the food in, lets it out. Um, that Those antacids actually make your stomach worse because the reason you're needing um, to take an antacid is that your stomach is not making sufficient acid. So the antacids are making the situation worse. For the stomach, for a lack of acid, that would be hydrochloric acid, which we're not selling today. And I don't think we have that supplement, but that's, a, that's one you can find. Not yet, but we do have the digestive enzyme. So right. for those of us who aren't making as many digestive enzymes on our own, Suzanne has all the strains that break down proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vegetables. So that's what helps you get the most nutrients out of your food. That's where you get the macro and the micronutrients is from having the proper amount of digestive enzymes. Also really helps with gas and bloating. And she's put this on special today. Three bottles for the price of one. There's no promo code needed. You just go to SuzanneSummers.com and you can stock up on this today. And super important, if Suzanne always says, if you're only going to take one supplement, let it be a good quality probiotic. 
And this is a great one. Um, Suzanne has really, she worked with our formulator to make sure that number one, this would knock out the bad bacteria in your gut. And number two, that it would repopulate with the good bacteria. And they've added this incredible new technology with this dual encapsulation. So you can see in the green capsule, that's where all the live probiotics are. And they have this dual encapsulation so that they can get past the stomach acids and get into the intestine. And that's why it's one of our more expensive products. It's $44.95 for a bottle. And today you get three bottles for the price of one. These are coming up on the expiration date, which is in July. So if you order these now, you're going to be, you will have taken all of them before the optimal take by date is. And, you know, they don't lose their efficacy all at once. They, they slowly lose their efficacy after that. Um, so two great specials today for gut health. And I don't know anyone who has studied more about gut health than Suzanne. And you, because um, my granddaughters had gut issues. and it's Major a gut issues. Major. It's a terrible thing that the children are going through today. And my grandchildren did eat organic food and did eat right. But who knows what exposure is. Their brains aren't fully formed yet. And what are they cleaning the schools with? It's it's a it's a major yeah, thing for me to go through. And yeah. yes, those of you who are asking, these are gluten free. They are also organic and non GMO. Um, Suzanne uses only the highest quality, the best, the purity and the potency of these products is what differentiates them from others. And um, yeah, there's no gluten for those of you who are asking. SuzanneSummers.com is where you order, and um, there's a right on the homepage. You'll see the ad. But there's three for one sale. Order one bottle of digestive enzymes, you get two for free. Order one bottle of this probiotic and you get two for free. You know, um, there are certain people who carry a certain gene, my husband is one of them, that makes them more susceptible to gluten, to chemicals, like Alan has multiple chemicals, sensitivity, MCS. Um, he has to take the probiotic, and he has to take the uh, digestive enzymes. I give it to him. I just keep them in, in nice-looking jars in the kitchen, and I automatically, when we're eating, I, I put the uh, enzymes on, on the plate in front of him. But you can test the uh, – the uh, this book will tell you where to get that kind of testing to find out if you carry the HLA gene. It's usually English, Irish, uh, Spanish, French, um, you know, the – but my husband is Eastern European, and he's got it too. They're like, if you carry the HLA gene, it's like you're the canary in the coal mine. You'll go down first. Um, I always think all negatives are positives. And so when I see Alan reacting to chemicals in, in a store or the gas station or something, um, I'm aware I'm getting hit too. He's just the canary who's going like that. And so you have to look at all negatives as a positive. Because of Alan's... Um, carrying this gene, that's when we just got all the gluten out of our house and got all the chemicals out of our house. I'm really trying to bring you a clean, um, chemical-free message and the solutions to the problems from today's toxicity and digestive enzymes and um, uh, probiotics are solutions to the terrible environmental assault that we're all experiencing. Antibiotics. Uh, will blow out all your good flora in your stomach. Once you blow out all the good flora, you're going to blow, you're going to have gas, you're going to have skin problems, you're going to have so many problems. And um, it's a simple restore by taking the advanced probiotic renew that I bring to you to replicate, to get back to what makes your, your gut work at optimum, which is 85% good, 15% bad. You need the bad. It's a mixture of the two that work, but you don't want to have the reverse, which is what most everyone has, 85% bad and 15% good, and you're going, well, I take a probiotic. Clearly, it's not the right probiotic or not enough. This one will be. Take it every morning. Take it every night. You know and that um, when Violet had such gut issues after having mold and Lyme, when she was at her treatment facility, part of the treatment she was on nine probiotics a day. That's mm -hmm. how imbalanced her gut was. And right. here's this, like, you know, I mean, Violet was only eating organic food. And she got scared of all food because she just started getting so inflamed. She was she on was, nine. She was like 14 and 15 then, right? Yeah. 
and nine different probiotics because she couldn't, she had so much antibiotic because she had Lyme disease and it wiped out her intestine and the mold wiped out the intestine. She couldn't even digest food. But the probiotics were part of the part of the treatment for her. Now she had a medical condition and that's certainly different, but you really need a good probiotic to to repopulate the gut. It takes a while. Right. And if you are like so distended that you're mortified by you know wearing clothes and you're wearing big baggy clothes, you might consider taking three a day. You can't get hurt by these. You want to get the balance back. And so Deborah Hill is asking, um, how do you know if you should take this? Is there anyone who shouldn't take a probiotic? Is this so I don't think there's anyone who shouldn't. I don't know anybody who has been so um, guarded against all toxicity and chemicals. I don't know where that exists. I know there's some people up way up in the mountains in, of uh, Hiroshima in Japan that seem to have a better you know, a longevity span and they don't get disease and things like that. There are a few blue zones around the country. These are aberrations. For the most part, uh, everybody should take, an, uh, I don't like to use the word should, would benefit by taking a, a advanced probiotic like this. It has all the different strains. So what one eats, um, uh, you know, if you're taking the wrong kind of uh, probiotic, it's going to eat up the lactobacillus, but maybe it doesn't have all the other ones. So the other ones, you know, don't get renewed. So this is giving you all the different strains in there. And that's what... This is so cutting edge. This is great. Yeah. We have a friend on named Mary who said her, you know, she has an autistic son who benefits from probiotics. You have somebody oh, else cool. asking about anxiety. And I mean, I know for Violet, that was a huge issue when she had no, when she had so much, so many issues in her gut, the anxiety and the OCD and the depression, all of that gut was like on fire because right. of imbalance in gut. So that in, uh, uh, for those of you who weren't on in the first few minutes, the anxiety would come from the toxins in your GI tract eating through the barrier wall of your GI tract, leaking out into your bloodstream, going on a rampage in the bloodstream looking for fatty organs and glands that can land anywhere, might land in your thyroid or your pancreas or wherever, but it really wants to get to the brain, which is 65% fat, because toxins live in fat. Um, Violet's anxiety and all those who experience mold, Lyme, ADD, ADHD, OCD, autism, um, dyslexia, dyspraxia, all those things, is because the brain is shrinking to make room for more toxins. The more toxins that, that leak into that brain, the, the, the more the hypothalamus shrinks. And so focus is difficult. Anxiety is rampant. Also, those toxins can get through the blood-brain barrier. What is that? Um, I need my brain. Uh, I don't want to take my brain out right now. I can get you the brain. Around, around the brain is um, like a protective wall around it, and that's supposed to protect from the toxins going in. But like it does with the GI tract, it eats through the blood-brain barrier and gets into the brain, and now you really got trouble. And so let's let's rectify the problem in a much easier way. Let's Let's get the balance uh, back in the GI tract. The brain and the gut are uh, connected. Did I do that right? Brain and the gut. <laughs> uh, and you want to get the communication back to normal. Uh, the body is this incredible, beautiful system. Everything's talking to everybody all the time. You don't have one problem here. If you have a problem here, it's, it's systemic. It's affecting every other part of your body. So. How simple a fix this is, put back the digestive enzymes you don't make anymore if you're over 30, you probably don't, or if you're under 30, you've got a lot of stress, like my granddaughters, from all the anxiety of, see, for kids, this is where it's really hard, and Caroline knows this oh so well. The When their gut-brain balance is off, they start gaining weight, and for teenage girls, there's nothing more awful for them to gain weight, but they can't control it, so they stop eating. Violet didn't eat, remember? She just didn't, she didn't like to eat because everything's going to have a reaction. And I'll tell you... It wasn't just weight, it was that inflammation where it's like, I haven't even been eating, I don't deserve this. Yeah, yeah that, that anxiety because the brain keeps shrinking to make room for the more toxins and it's now out of control, it's all over the place. It was such a sad thing because um, our brains aren't fully formed to 25, 27 years 
And so I knew, like, oh, this is a terrible thing to happen to young brains. If you have children who are experiencing these things, maybe maybe uh, probiotic will be their best friend. Younger I have, actually have a, a friend on who's asking if she can give this to her kids. Um, and, I mean, that's something that you should ask your doctor about, but we, I certainly did, and we certainly would. But um, it, you know, if you ask your doctor, your doctor. Uh, I would highly recommend you find an alternative doctor. Alternative doctors are doctors. They went to medical school. They're MDs or cardiologists or wh whatever they are. Um, uh, but they then went back to school to learn about alternative medicine, and these are called integrative doctors. You can go to foreverhealth.com to find one nearest you. That's the doctor I would ask about this, because if you ask your regular doctor who's not up on, you know, if you take an antibiotic, uh, you should take a probiotic, you're probably going to get an answer that would be less than satisfactory, I would think. I would think. I um, would sure hope that our medical schools start um, stepping out of the box that they've locked themselves in and look at these new cutting-edge ways, simple ways, non-drug ways. These, this will not harm you. This will enhance your health. It will not harm you. And, and also, I, I so agree with what you mean about just finding the doctor that agrees with you. I remember telling you this. I had a wonderful doctor who delivered my children. And as my OB, GYN, I was asking her about cancer prevention because my mom died of cancer and I was very concerned about making sure that I was going to be alive for my kids. And she looked at me and she said, you're 34 years old, go live your life, you're fine. <laughs> and I just thought, not good enough. I yep. need to feel like I'm doing something proactive for right. taking care of my health. And you know, that's when my quest would vitamins and supplements and trying to do something in advance to just build my immune system. And right. you know, no one has taught me more about probiotics than you have and the importance of how many different parts of the body are affected when your gut is out of whack. Incredible. And, like just incredible. Such mm -hmm. stress for years until we got their intestine in track. And a really good quality probiotic was so key. And now they are both they have their slim, lean they're the size they should be, and they yes. eat well, and they're, this, and they're, they're, the size that, they're the size that will fit into my old clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so much of it, you know, when you turn turning around the gut health, it does not happen overnight. So, you know, to, to get a three month supply of this is really going to get you started. But I mean, it really took about nine months because they were both critical in turning around their their intestine. And it's like hormones, you know. Um, when you start hormone replacement, as I've written in so many of my books, be patient, right? You're not practicing me Western medicine with this, the pill that takes the, the pain away. The pill is the Band-Aid. It doesn't cure. The pills don't cure. Uh, I always, with uh, you know different protocols, I always say to people when they're going that way, I go, ask your doctor this before you start this mm -hmm. chemical. Uh, will this cure me? And they're going to have to say no. And then you can make a better decision. To, what, how about trying something that really will put me back together again, like Humpty Dumpty. And the digestive enzymes are going to be your friend. You're, once you get used to taking digestive enzymes, you will not want to have a meal without them. You won't feel right. And the, the probiotic um, is so cutting edge. And like we said, it's designed so that it won't dissolve in the stomach, which is where usually probiotics dissolve and then it doesn't get into the intestines. You want it to get into the intestines. This encapsulation, you can see it's in two parts there. It protects it in the stomach and then allows it to go into the digestive uh, tract of the intestines and do its job there and start uh, creating balance again. Hey, uh, Suzanne, and Mary Elena has a question for you. Uh -huh. um, She's asking if there's some type of an assessment that she can take to determine if she needs a probiotic or how many. And what would you tell someone who doesn't have a doctor who knows how to check for those types of things? I honestly, I really, there are there are specific tests. I write about them in Toxic. Uh, you might find a doctor you like in Toxic because I just find the most cutting edge doctors. If one of those doctors is not in a, in a town nearest you, uh, it would be who you go to foreverhealth.com and um, look at the doctors nearest you. You want a doctor who's versed in this, 
as opposed to going to a doctor who doesn't understand this is like going to a plumber for a heart bypass. It's so out of their element. And if any doctor in today's world who gives an antibiotic and doesn't suggest also a probiotic is somebody I would have on my hit list over here. Of, don't want to see that doctor anymore. And also, you, know, you have so many doctors who are, you know, giving a, an antibiotic when you might have just a viral infection. It's not going to do anything. Right. Some people just don't feel like they're going to get well unless they take an antibiotic. And sometimes the virus just has to run its course. And like me, when I was in the hospital, I didn't have any infection. So I had six days of IV, mending 24 hours a day of antibiotic. And for an infection, I didn't have. It was just guessing. Yeah. It was so delirious that I didn't have it in me to question. That will never happen again. Um, uh, so to jump so into the nine, years, nine years of working to get my stomach uh, back wow. in shape again. For those of you asking, it's SuzanneSummers.com. There is no promo code needed. The advanced probiotic renew is forty-four ninety-five, but today you get three bottles for forty-four ninety-five. So, I mean, that is an incredible price. This is incredible, incredible technology. You've got the dual encapsulation, so that is going to make it all the way to the intestine. It has the uh, two two different, well, several different types of probiotics. One is to make sure that you're killing the bad bacteria, and the other is to repopulate with several strains of good bacteria. It's fifteen billion. And also, you know, the number of billion that you get is important, but it's mostly important that they get to where they need to go. So the fact that this makes it all the way to the intestine. You do yeah. not have to break these, Deborah. Um, that's part of the dual encapsulation. A lot of probiotics you do need. These are live probiotics that are here in that green part of the capsule. Some of you were asking how big this capsule is. You can see here. Oh, sorry. Now it's in your keyboard. You can by the see, way, um, did I see my son walk by? You did. That's Bruce. Can you oh. have can you have Bruce put his face in the uh, camera? <laughs> I'm his mother, and I just like to look at his face. <laughs> Time for the family shot. There's Caroline's husband, who happens to be my son. Hi, Bruce. Hi. How are you? <laughs> you, know, you know what this is, Bruce? Sorry. You know what this is? Uh, a pancreas? No. A uh, liver? No, this is your liver. A kidney. This is your stomach. Mm. Isn't that interesting how small the stomach is? But most people's stomachs are bloated out to here. This is what it should look like. Okay. But I, I could still teach you things after all these years. Nice. Right. Nice. Right. <laughs> there's Chi Chi. <laughs> and there's Chi Chi. My cats. Cute girl. My cats have abandoned me. <laughs> They've gone to their father. Right. You have a lot of people who are jumping in. Um, SuzanneSummers.com, you guys don't need a promo code. If you order one bottle, you're going to get three. Um, and it's, it's today it's the, the advanced probiotic renew and also the digestive enzymes. No one has taught me more about the stomach or taught American women more about and men more about the stomach than Suzanne. This is something she really struggled with herself. And as with everything, when she finds the solution, she shares it. Mm -hmm. And she knows how to work with formulators to make the best products. She finds the ones that work the best for her. And then she makes them even better before she'll put her name on it. And these are incredible. So here's your advanced probiotic renew. You had three months of this for $44.95. That's a smoking good deal. And again, you've got that the extra technology on that dual encapsulation. It's great. This is a great buy. This is a great opportunity for you to get enough for the next three months to really give it a shot, to really see if this is the answer you've been looking for. Wouldn't it be nice? It's You know, we all wake up with somewhat of a flat stomach. Wouldn't it be nice to have a flat stomach, which is really flat intestines, at the end of the day? Wouldn't it be nice that dress you love so much you could put it on, you don't have to have your husband put your his foot on your butt to be able to pull the zipper up the back. You've all done it, haven't you? I've done it. And sometimes I'll put a dress on and I'll go, whoa, I don't know this time. I go, just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between Alan. Alan is so honest with you. I know. Oh, you look great, honey. He would, he would never say, that doesn't look good on you from the back. Or right. he'd say, how do you feel? Right. Like, he'd right. find a sneaky way to tell me. He, he, no, he used to say to me, 
when it was really bad from the back you look great from the front like the, okay you don't have to say that anymore <laughs> yeah then you created all these amazing probiotics and this is really this is a killer product you guys i i i for those of you who are wrong, I was talking about when Violet really needed probiotics. We tried several different strains because her she was really in an acute situation where her intestine was so out of whack. And she was on nine different probiotics a day. And this product is what she takes now um, just for maintenance. So she takes two of these a day. I take two a day. You can start with one a day. One might be enough for you. That's what the dosage is. But a lot of us take more than that, especially if you're dealing with severe gas or bloating and you want to get on top of it, maybe double up. And then as it starts to be better, you can go down to one a day. But and by it, the way, by the way, Violet's story is in this book. It's a, it's a, 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 a gut wrenching story and in both senses of the word gut wrenching. But you know, she's this teeny little thing now. And during the years when she was fighting this so much, she, was it five pounds she could put on a week or 10 pounds in a week? Well, it, just like it, it would just be, it was just fluid. It was just inflammation. So yeah. all of a in a couple of days, if her body wasn't, it's just her body wasn't digesting. Right. The normal things that happen in your digestion where you have healthy flora in your gut and where you have digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid, all the things that normally make your body work just stop. Yeah, right. And, you know, so, it, was not, it was not antibiotics that got her better. It was building the immune system back and replacing the things that her body wasn't making, which is right. what happens to a lot of us as we age. Like, I'm, you know, we're not in acute health issues right now, but, you know, at my age, I'm, I'm in my 50s now, so this, I don't make as many digestive enzymes as I used to. And gut flora just naturally, with all the things that that we encounter every day, we just don't have the kind of, populated gut for that we need. So huge sale on this today. Buy one bottle, get two free at SuzanneSummers.com. That's it. Oh, and they want to know about Chi Chi. Chi Chi is a Maltese. She's 13. She has no teeth and she's the sassiest girl on the block. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Gloria, who's had a haircut. <laughs> and um, there she is. She's a little, Gloria's very shy and doesn't like to be held. The other one likes to be held, but Gloria likes to sleep behind my desk, so that's where we're putting her right now. There you go. Well, Suzanne, thank you for such an informative hour. That was just awesome to learn so much about the gut and why it's so important to have these nutrients. And and for all of you out there who are listening today, if anything resonated at all, uh, give this a try. This has helped me so much. And what if it was just this simple? What if all this discomfort and all this pain and the embarrassment of having a big protruding stomach. And by the way, this is not the domain of women. How many men do you see walking around with these big stomachs? And we sort of uh, expect now in America, as men get older, they're all going to have big stomachs. It's not, it, that's not health. And so their, their GI tracts can get uh, put back on track. Pay attention to uh, eating uh, gluten-free. It really makes a difference. Pay attention to eating real food organic food, you can pick it, pluck it, milk it, or shoot it, you can eat it. Pay attention to what you put on your skin. I highly recommend Suzanne Organic Skin Care because it's clean and it's what I use and it's and it's a great product, all of them, they're like a hundred or more products. And um, these changes, one by one, will lower your toxic burden. That has to make sense to where you'll be better off and will allow you to live with the goal of optimal health because you've got balance. The body's about balance. What we're talking about today is putting yourself back in balance. Have a good day, everybody. That's awesome. Thank you again, Suzanne. I just want to just wrap up. We talked about a few medical issues today. These products are not to cure any medical condition. Um, so again, check with your doctor on the specifics of what you're trying to accomplish. But we hope you uh, jump in on this great sale today. Three for one, SuzanneSummers.com. Thanks again. Thanks. Bye-bye.